All right, everyone, we're back uh, hitting this Ghost of Tsushima. I know it's been a while, but, you know, just uh, general things going on. But now that we're back in action, we're going to definitely hit this uh, pretty hard. I'm planning on finishing the entire thing today. Um, actually, I'm just getting really hyped for it. First, I want my horse back. Second, I don't know if I can contain my uh, my giddiness of being back in and playing the business. So let's go ahead and hit it, not Nobu. Now the thing is, I want Nobu back super hard. Okay, I know we're not gonna we're not gonna get my horse boy back like we did before. Um, I still just miss that horse. Let me tell you something. It's been about uh like a week and a half uh since we've been doing this. Well, since I've been gone. But um, yeah. If only there was some kind of horse that would come back because this substitute is just not hitting me in the way I was hoping. Maybe if we get some good side missions. We'll get a horse? I don't know. But let me tell you, Yamato. You can do it. You can do it, Yamato. I believe in your musician storytelling skills. The wood is too wet. And my hands too cold. Let me try. Yeah, I got samurai moves. Here we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Right off screen. Never been so cold. Yeah, it's a problem. Somewhere warmer. As would you, my lord. For now, I was share the fire. I was gonna say you can't tickle the strings with uh, the <laughs> with, <laughs> with cold fingers. It ain't gonna work. <gasps> Here comes the story. Let's hear it. Fell from the sky. And wiped out the dinosaurs. Mount Jogaku, a lone warrior braved the dangerous climb and found a giant rock covered in flames. He touched his sword to the fire. <sighs> Flames engulfed the steel. No doubt. But left him unharmed. This is what I'm talking he about. He created a new fighting style. He called the Way of the Flame. I ain't mad at that the one bit. The warrior took pieces of the rock west with him to China. There he sought answers about its origin from learned monks and scholars. And what'd they tell him, Yamato? Ooh, After transitions. After travel and research, fire fell from the sky once more. What? He led the people to it and showed them it was nothing to fear. For he believed the way of the flame was a gift from the heavens. And I he believe shared that. its secrets with all who wished to learn. Handed down through generations, the way of the flame has returned to Tsushima. Oh, that's right. The Mongols Through Mongols trying to play a hate. People. But rumor says the fire still burns atop Mount Jokaku. Gimme it. Waiting for any who can survive the climb. Oh, that's all we gotta do is climb? <sniffs> Had they not seen my sick new grappling hook? They can be ready as so much as they want. Know if the tale is true. I wish to know if the tale is true also. Climb? Not I, my lord. I told the story to a Ronin not long ago. <laughs> He's dead. He He's done. Though I fear the cold will take him. I'll find what secret the mountain hides. Don't worry, if he's chilly, I'll set him on fire. It's fine. Whew, even I'm getting a little bit chilly with this. Let's see how it goes. Alright, show me the business, Nobu. I mean, not Nobu. Ugh. See, now you're even taking on your nips. It's like when you get in, when you get like a new cat, and all of a sudden you're old. Okay, sad story. When you get like a new cat, but your sad cat died. Not your sad cat, but your old cat like uh, died. And you accidentally call your new cat by your old cat's name, and you're just like, ah, oh, boy, this is some rough times. That's why you got to space out your pets. You know what I'm saying? It's it's important. <laughs> you don't you don't want to fall into that. <gasps> oh, we're gonna Final Fantasy VII this for real right now. I see. We gotta warm up by the fire. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I got so much good stuff to show you right quick talking about my gear. So I did some things, and the things which I did was um, I ran around, and, uh, well, so just so you know, I couldn't, I wasn't able to stream for a while, so I wasn't able to record for a while, so that's why I've been gone for a while. Long story short, um, I did get this bad boy completely maxed out, the uh, Charm of Inari's Might. When you do that, you get a bunch of different outfit things, but... Um, I think I did almost all of the hot springs, I did the wood cutting, and you get some fun little masks like the monkey mask, I got um, the conqueror's mask, which kind of reminds me of the uh, the green hornet's sidekick, you know, that's kind of cool, 
Um, oh, no, no. Conqueror's Mask is from a Mongol armor set that I got. Don't worry. We're never going to use it because we're straight up going to be samurais. Um, I got the Siryu Mask, which is like the dragon one. Um, I got my favorite one, which I just found on a bench. Here's the one I got from the Inari ones. I got the Wolf of Tsushima, but we're not going to do that one. Here's the new one. I like the Skeletal Vengeance because I'm a ghost. Um, I think that just matches the theme the most, so that's how I'm keeping it going. Um, and then the Guardian Scowl, which we know we had that one. I think it's kind of cool how it's broken on the side, but my favorite one is definitely the Skeletal Vengeance. I like the missing teeth and how it's all janky looking. Um, it reminds me of a lot of things from Neo 2 and those old yokai things. I think it's I think it's hilarious and also a little bit spooky, so we're going to keep that going. Don't worry, guys. You haven't missed any of my uh, my my amazing ability to go out and get charms, so we're right on top of it. Don't don't you worry about a thing. I'm freezing to death. I don't know the uh, the way to not freeze to death. Hope. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, wait. There's some warmth. There's some warmth. Get up there, Jin. Oh, don't you die on me. I haven't I haven't experienced this before, guys. Oh, I can't do the Final Fantasy VII jumping jacks. Oh god. Oh god. What am I? What am I? Oh, what's the plan here? Okay, let me down the mountain. Oh, my body. Okay, you know what? I did get a chance to play. I got a chance to play some uh, some Fall Guys. If you guys have tried that out, um, you know me. I'm absolutely garbage at platforming, so it's no surprise that I'm terrible at that game. However, there's a jump dive which I think is hilarious. As I jump dive into my own campfire. All right, all right. What's what's gonna be the plan here? Not sneaking around. We don't need the ghost vision, that's for sure. We gotta find somebody to stay warm and... Okay, guys. Okay. Oh, also, I got the very last part of my legend. I am the ghost of Tsushima, so... You're welcome. It's what I've been aspiring for this entire time. Okay, so we're getting chilly right at the gate. Can I jump up on anything? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Yep, I know you're getting colder, Jin. Don't... No one likes a man who complains about the cold. Yeah, just gotta be daring, I guess. But now we know that we have actually a lot of time before, so... Let's jump down here, hit the bricks. Okay, here we go. Starting the speed run up Mount Jokoku right now. Okay, okay. Over the rocks. Oh, fudge. Jin, you gotta have mad hops. Get that quad strength going. Okay, I can't... I can't get up there. We're just gonna take the long run. Come on. A little faster, Chief. You can do it. I believe in you. If not, you're going to disappoint all your buddies back in Tsushima. You know what? We're just going to use our resolve and keep healing if we have to. Okay, there's a fire over there. Folks, I've gone the wrong direction. I can feel it. Come on. I can't Skyrim myself up this mountain. Okay. 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 Okay, you know, I thought this was going to be less tricky than it is. Jump grab? Nope. Nope. Jump dead. Okay. 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 Ooh. Yeah, that's right. This is fine, Jen. This is fine. Nope. Oh, Jesus. You know what? We're going to have to take the L on this one and then try it again in a second. Yep. All right. I know what you're thinking. Why not, Why not heal up? Because I'm lost. <laughs> Just straight up lost. Okay. Explosive arrows. <sighs> I see. Okay. Okay, I see what they're going for. If I blow up the mountain, we won't have to worry about it. Okay, it looks like the campfires might be marked with flags. So. We just have to find campfires. Maybe. Flags? I think. How do we warm up here? They gave me explosive arrows for a reason. Can I can I set some bushes on fire maybe? Need a fire soon. Okay, I got you. Oof. <gasps> nope, nope. Okay. Okay, that doesn't warm me up at all. Game. There's my body. Hmm. Well, well, oh, oh, well, there are my ankles. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I have a plan for this one. We walk up. Our arrows are full. 
have my explosive arrows. What? Oh my god. Guys, did I have to just cross a bridge? I had to cross a bridge. <sighs> Sometimes, you know, in the Call of Cthulhu playthrough, all I had to do was go left. And all I had to do here was just go left, wasn't it? Excuse you? Where's a Tauntaun when you need him? I could slip inside there and be- Oh man, I keep- I played Neo for a little bit. And it messed me up. Now I'm trying to stance change and do everything with R1. Here we go! Supplies. Yeah! There we go, crouch down, get warm, Jin. Okay, here we go. Off to see the wizard. Don't you bother me. Stop. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a good thing they gave me those explosive arrows. Jump swing! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Samurai Sundays is gonna be the new thing. Oh no. Oh no. Now, now, turn left. Turn left. Don't be dumb. Just look left. Can't take much more cold. Oh god. Don't be dumb. Just look up. Oh no. Wait. Tree. No. Yes. This. Mm hmm. Use your cold fingers, Jin. Get up the mountain! Quickly! Roll. Jump roll. Here we go. Made it. Kunai. Supplies. Heal up. Okay, this is going much better than the Final Fantasy VII one. I well, in Final Fantasy VII, let me tell you guys something. So, I played the remake of Final Fantasy VII. And then, I played Final Fantasy VII. Which, that, okay. I also played Final Fantasy VII when it first came out. But, <laughs> what had happened was... Ooh, that was a good one, Gene. You guys are ooh, you dangerous. I know, hold on, we're gonna run back. When I first played Final Fantasy VII as a wee lad, I had no idea how to kind of treat being frozen solid, as here I am, just a little polygon man, just doing jumping jacks, bouncing around, trying to stay warm. And then I went back and played it, um... When did Final Fantasy Remake come out? It came out in March? Right around there? No, right in the beginning of April, I think. And then... I went back and played the entire game, uh, Final Fantasy VII, the original one, and I went, wow, this, uh, this really holds up, and I can't wait to see how they do the shivering, dying in the cold in HD. And here we go, we're getting a sneak peek in Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> Are you alright? My pride hurts more than my body. It's an unforgiving mountain. What were you hoping to find at the top? Answers. No one knows. Anything. The I'm hoping to find a super sweet this. new katana. So it would. I'm sure you'll pass them out. <gasps> Good luck, my lord. Oh my god, how cool would it be if you could jet stream Sam your katana and set it on fire as you draw it from your sheath? Oh, that'd be so good. Do I expect it? No. I would love it though. That'd be amazing. If I could just out the sheath, set it on fire, chop into some Mongols as I get it done. Set them on fire also. Aw, oh, that'd be so slick. I've been spoiled by Metal Gear Rising. It's a problem. I think we all have. You know, it's just Platinum Games be spoiling everyone with some of these things. Like, I keep telling you guys I'm gonna go to New Game Plus, uh... Much more cold. Bayonetta, and... Well, Vanquish doesn't have one. But Bayonetta, and we'll stream that bad boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Please, light. I think we might. I think we might go stream Bayonetta sometime with all my new game plus rings and halos. I don't know why I call them rings because I've played Sonic the Hedgehog as a child also. But take all them halos, put them into all the points. I have a problem where I like... Ooh. Like those who first found the flame. I will harness its power. I'll show all those who stood against me that I am no longer the toy. I won't fail like all the others. That reminds me of... There's this interview with Macho Man Randy Savage so cold. that gets me so hype. And that little poem sounds like a little part of it where he's, where he's talking about, I'm not going to do the Macho Man Randy Savage voice right now in my microphone, but he talks about reaching up and grabbing a passing star and harnessing its power in his hand. And I was like, this man gets it. This man is video games. Guys, I have an entire Macho Man Randy Savage idea for a video game. However... I will not say it over the microphone, much like my Birdemic 3, the reburdening, will not be said over microphone. Should it be? Maybe. But if someone comes by and is like, hey, I got the reburdening and it's not me who wrote the script, oh, I'm be so mad, but this Macho Man Ray Savage video game I'm thinking about, 
I'm, I'm telling you guys, if he could wrestle his toaster to get toast in the morning, I think it'd be a great start to it. We'll, we'll see. You know what? Maybe I'll maybe I'll make a game design document. Throw it to some of my buddies. Maybe I'll uh, I don't know. I can't get it to Macho Man Randy Savage anymore. That's that time has passed, unfortunately. But we'll see. Maybe what we can do. <laughs> Re. Oh, we got a bear. Nope. Get out of here, Yogi. I got time for this. Okay, I'm frozen. Jump. Okay, come on. You be strong, Jin. Be a strong samurai man. We're almost to the top. We're so close. Yes. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Welcome, my lord. Uh. Hello. Oh, he's about to battle me. I wasn't expecting to find anyone up here. All right. I've wondered if any would make the climb. What are you doing up here? Seek the way of the flame. I do. Challenge me, chief. West with flaming swords threatened Tsushima. They brought back the gift offered to them by my ancestor. Teach me, Yatomaru. Yep. A samurai will show the Mongols the true power of your way. Let's see what we got. Take a piece of the rock, and we will face each other in combat. This is what I'm. This is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for. Take a piece of the rock. But first, let's see what we can steal from in here, because you know I'm. When you're a ghost, you're scrounging for everything. Be at a uh, people who enjoy wrestling. You know, maybe I'll just have a stream where I talk about my Macho Ran Man Randy Savage idea for a video game. I came up with it while I was testing some video games. Don't worry about it. It's it's totally coherent and it'll make a lot of sense. But you'll see how it goes. Take a piece of the rock. Take a piece of the rock. Huh. Oh, this is the meteor that fell from the sky. Now to do Betomaru. Yeah, now to bring it to him. Now to bring it to him. Let's see what happens. I'm digging that mustache beard combo, my man. Yeah, try to get hype. Oh, man. After this week and a half of not playing this, I am missing how nice those hands look. Don't do it. Ooh, I warned you. I told you not to do it. What? I will. No, I don't have it. I don't have a strategy for this. Roll. Stop dropping. Not die. No. No. Oh God. Oh God. Too much Neo. Not enough Sashima. Nope, I'm dying. I'm dying. Guys, don't play Neo. Don't play Sushima the, the week. It won't work for you. There we go. Now we're getting my stride back. Yeah. Don't do it. Although he is jet stream stamming me right now. Get dodged. Oh my god. Oh my god. First day back. No bueno. Okay, I got a plan. <laughs> That's right. Fake chops. Strike your sword against your piece of the rock. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna die here, folks. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God. No. There we go. Ooh. Nothing like being a scrub. Good. The way of the flame is not meant for friendly rivals. No, I don't think so. I will wield it well against the enemies of Tsushima. You have learned the way of the flame. I think it's just for straight Never up chopping. Forget, it is a gift that fell from the heavens, Lord Sakai. Guys, I don't want to tell you this. Well, I do want to tell you this. In the subtitles, I freaking love their G's. They're so good. Ghost weapons. Oh, way the flame is a ghost weapon. Okay, well things are making sense now. Well, that's slick. Huh. <gasps> Let's see, since we're already here, might as well climb this shrine after we got away the flame. Since we were busy being such a scrub. Is there something else, Lord Sakai? Uh, n no. Not at all. Oh, wait, maybe there is. This place isn't what I expected. My ancestors trained in the way of the flame here. Free of worldly distractions. What of yourself? I live to share my teaching with those who deserve it. 
Another okay. will come who needs the way of the flame. All right. <gasps> we got to get this ladder really fast, though. Okay, so the first fight wasn't very good. I was treating my block a lot like the Neo block. That was the problem. That was it. Oh, so wait, let me let me tell you what I've been up to for these past uh, week and a half. Um, working. That was it. <laughs> no, nothing super exciting, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and then I just haven't really had time to uh, time to stream or anything. I've just been been kind of busy. So I have been on my off time playing through like Neo again, and then um. And then a little bit, I did some side missions in this game, but I didn't really have time to like set aside to actually show you guys some cool stuff. It was just kind of like we could have done like, I don't know, 30 minutes of side missions, but that's no fun. We like to do these in, uh, you know, long fangs. Who likes to jump in for like 20 minutes and then be like, well, there's some side missions. All right, guys, have a good time. Um, so that's what I've been up to. Oh, also the most wicked sunburn I think I've ever had in my entire life. You know, can I jump across there? I, I think I feel like I can because it definitely looks like there's something shiny up there. So, you know, from recovering from a wicked sunburn and working, that that's about it. You know, all the exciting things in life. Ooh. Give me this bag. OK, we're up. We're over. What do we got? Incendiary oil. Huh. All right. I guess we'll just find that as we go throughout the game now. Roll. Hitting it! Okay. Let's... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Roll. Going down. Oh, sweet. Okay. Boo. Come to me, not no boo. Ooh, give me this shrine. Let's go. Okay. So, you might have noticed, I have not done, well, I haven't, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you got something to say about it, Yamato? It was a treacherous climb. True story, almost, I, I, I died twice. Unruly and powerful, my lord. Take care, the flames do not burn you. That's the plan. The flame will only consume the Mongols. True story. Oh, boom! The Undying Flame. Teller of Tales. Without a doubt. Okay, well, I can't get any more experience points. I do have just one point. Just chilling out. <gasps> the purity of war. Let's see what it looks like. Does it look sick? Tell me it looks sick. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting one. Huh. I wonder what, that, I wonder what that's based off of. It's got a spooky little scowl going on. We'll try this for a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Izanami's Grief? Oh, those are eye popping because right now I just have these. But these, you know what? It's a whole new week, whole new idea. Let's go. Okay, now we're just gonna hit the shrine. No problems here. For some reason, I thought that was gonna be a straight drop. All right, so we're off to the shrine. Off to some new ideas. Jumping up. I'm, I swear, after Mount Gosaku, I feel like anything is going to be just fine. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, where's the thing that tells me we're on the right path? Nope, nope, don't talk to me, lady. I'm busy. We just got to get up there, right? Nope. Oh, wait, wait. Duh. Can I just jump across? <gasps> yeah, grappling hook. I'm never gonna not love the grappling hook, I feel like. Um, hmm. Well, you know what? Okay, can we get down this way? I feel like I'm a cat stuck in a tree sometimes. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel like sometimes, you know, you climb real high and then all of a sudden you realize that there's no way you're gonna comfortably get down. Oh, good, my ankles. My samurai ankles are fine. You know, I, I, I get in those spots. So, we got the mountain climb. So, let me tell you about this movie I saw. Because, you know, I feel like I've been missing my movie reviews. And I feel like you guys have been missing my movie reviews. And I haven't actually been watching a lot of films. So, I have been watching some straight up 
Whoa. Supplies. I've been watching some things that are straight up not that exciting. But that's great because those are my favorite kind of movies. So you may or may not lo know this. If you've watched any of my other videos or checked out any of my streams. Um, I love terrible movies in the best kinds of ways. Also, we're going to skip this shrine for a second now that I'm thinking about it. Because I'm really curious about um, some of these character side stories. My bad, guys. I'm kind of all over the place in this one. Nope. You know what? We're sticking to our guns. We're going to do it. I don't know how. We just have to ride around the mountain. Duh. Okay. So, I love watching movies. I don't have a ton of time to watch movies, but when I do get time, I will binge watch like an entire series. So, I've reviewed um, all the Chucky films and some other ones. Not like official reviews, but you know, I've been playing Neo and some other games. And suddenly, I'll just rant about it. So, I watched a movie called Slice, right? And it sounded like a good deal because what it is is there's a town. In this town, there's a pizza place. And get this, it's built on a burial ground. So, because the ghosts have been all riled up because there's a pizza place built on the burial ground, which sounds like, oh my goodness, what kind of wacky adventures will ensue? Spoiler alert, none. Um, it sounded to me like a pretty good premise. I don't typically like super weird movies, but I said, you know what, I'll give it a shot. Plus, it has this one guy in it that I really like. Like, he's bald, but his brother's not. I think he's a pretty funny comedian when it, you know... He's that guy where you're like, oh my god, he's in this movie, but I don't know his name. It's one of those. But he's pretty funny, even though the whole movie itself is bad. Spoiler alert, I didn't enjoy this film. It felt like it just took my time, balled it up, and threw it in the garbage. Um, so, <laughs> moving on to the movie. They build it. There's, it's a, like a shopping mall, built on ancient Indian burial ground, about to pick up these crickets. Boom. And because of that, ghosts just run free in the town. But they're not like spooky ghosts. They're like people who own homes and like order pizza. That's how this movie. That's how the movie starts. Pizza boys are getting murdered in the streets by something that's called the werewolf. Spoiler alert: He's an actual werewolf. Um, his name is well. He's played by uh, Chance the Rapper. And that that girl who was Domino in Deadpool 2 is in here. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not ready. I have no resolve. Uh, take it. Who else wants to do it? You. Nailed it. There you go. This is for you. I'm coming over. Take it. Sick. You can get yourself some of that. Mm-hmm. Be intimidated. Get dodged. You. Need to just... Whoop. There we go. Don't you. Don't you. Uh, bro. Take this. There you go. Nailed it. Get over here, chief. Okay. Back to Slice. So. Pizza boys go and making deliveries to ghosts. Ghosts get pizza. They get chopped by the werewolf. Who's a real werewolf? Who's also Chance the Rapper? Who I got confused so far. Because... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna help myself right here. I don't really follow the rap game super hard. Nor a whole lot of music super hard. I don't really venture out from my preferred style of music. So sue me. So, <laughs> so I'm watching the movie. I'm like, Chance the... I thought I thought Chance was... And I've been looking for Common the Rapper the entire time this movie's been on. And I'm like, I don't see him. He's, I was waiting for him to pop up. Someone's like, he's the werewolf. And I was like, okay, I'm waiting for... And needless to say, he'd been in front of me the entire time. I just don't know who Chance the Rapper is. So it really messed up my perception of this movie for a very long time. I was like, I was real confused. Anyway, Domino comes in, who I don't know what her actual name is because I didn't really IMDB anyone in this. Um, when I say Domino, remember, girl from who played Domino, Deadpool 2, we're all on the same page. So, Domino comes in, her boyfriend happened to be the person who got murdered in the beginning, right? And then she starts her vengeance, comes back to the pizza place, can't believe it, starts her vengeance on people who uh, she thinks are murdering pizza boys. Anyway, it turns out not to be the guy. One of her other buddies gets killed. She also... Um, spoilers, but who cares, because, you know, I don't think, if you haven't seen the movie by now, it came out in 2018, you're not going to see it. Or you might, but you'll forget my review. And uh, you'll remember when Chance the Rapper shows up, who's not common. And what it is, is she gets stabbed, becomes a ghost, because of course, you know, actually, I don't know why the people become ghosts when they're not buried under the pizza place. Only the people who are already buried in the cemetery under the pizza place should be ghosts because their graves have been disturbed. People who die here shouldn't just be... Anyway, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but 
whatever. And, um, yeah, now that I think about it, no. No, she shouldn't have been a ghost, or anyone else who died. Yet, f no, I'm not gonna, I was gonna forgive it, but no, now I can't. Now I can't, because now it sounds too ridiculous. Anyway, she becomes a ghost. Finds the werewolf, who, by the way, the makeup is the worst. Chance the Rapper just happens to be a werewolf who is bored. He's been alive for thousands of years. He's not the murderer. It turns out there, there's a whole coven of witches that are going through the town trying to open the um, the portal to hell that is under the pizza place. Long story short, um, they don't do it because they get killed. Also, the werewolf transformation of Chance the Rapper is really, really not very good. Like, if you watched Face Off, you know some pretty bad makeups and some pretty good makeups. Granted, all those makeups are better than what I've ever done in my life with Halloween makeup. So, like, that's it. Also, what does the Charm of Tekamu Kizuchi do? Killing an enemy increases melee damage by a minor amount for a few seconds. No, not worth. Um, unless you really, like, chain them together and it stacks. Then it would totally be worth. But I don't know. So... He transforms. It's really bad. In the beginning, it reminded me of Michael Jackson in Thriller. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't stay as good as Michael Jackson in Thriller, so... You know, that, that, that music video freaked me out as a child. Anyway, um, that's the whole synopsis for the film. Because there's like a just... It's a very long movie that doesn't do anything with your time. Or its time. So, oh, it's my bro trying to be in a party. I'll have to let him know I'm doing this real quick. But, um, it's, it's just not a very good movie, unfortunately. Aside from that, yeah, that's it. So back to some good movies that I watched. Guys, let me tell you something. I watched The Ginger Dead Man, all the trillions. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm just kidding. It's not a good movie. However, I did watch The Ginger Dead Man and all of, all of the, all three Ginger Dead Men. Uh, no, Ginger Dead Man movies. I was gonna watch, um, you know what? I was gonna watch Ginger Dead Man 4, but it is a culmination of Ginger Dead Man versus Evil Bong, and I haven't watched the Evil Bong series, because it sounds kind of dumb. And I know what you're thinking. Evil Bong sounds stupid? Bro, you just watched all three Ginger Dead Man movies. True. But, hear me out. I think you're really gonna enjoy my ideas here.